Before starting my personal development journey, I was a complete mess. I was mentally disturbed. I looked unattractive. I was dull, lazy, and didn't know how could I change my personality. I started working on myself and right after three years, I became the one I always dreamt of. It took me three years to learn how to have glowing skin and look more attractive and confident. If I knew everything I learned back when I started, I definitely achieved my desired personality in under one year. So in this video, we will go over three things that I really wish I'd been doing from day one if I started again to completely transform my personality development journey. And the first thing I would focus on is my physical appearance. Your appearance is your first impression and we all know how important it is to have a first impression right. There are three main elements that make your appearance perfect. Proper dressing and having a good fashion sense make your personality perfect. But what is meant by good fashion sense? The one simple meaning of good fashion sense is to know about trends, as well as know for which purpose you are wearing something. Understanding the occasion and situation is very important when choosing the right outfit. Wearing for a job interview will be totally different than wearing for college. If you are in your 20s, then you probably need to choose an outfit for three major occasions. Number one, casual gatherings. Casual gatherings include outings with friends, family gatherings, casual dates, or going to college. First, let's have a look at pants. The one pants I believe every guy should own is dark blue denim jeans. It's all time the best jeans to wear in college life. You also have to have a black pant. It may be a pair of jeans or a chino or whatever style it will be. Black pants should be in your wardrobe. The last two pant colors I suggest are navy blue and gray. My suggestion for you is to have a pair of denim jeans. One black jeans one black dress pant, one navy blue jeans, one black and one gray chino, and one gray dress pant. Now when it comes to shirts, there are many types of shirts you can pair up with previous pants I discussed. Here are five colors of shirts I wear quite often with the colors of the previous pants I discussed. Black, white, brown, light gray, and navy blue. When it comes to choosing which color of shirts to wear with which colors of pants, there is one golden rule I follow. Always choose to wear both clothes in contrast shaded. There are typically two shades, light saturated and most saturated. If I show with an example, you can't wear a black shirt with dark denim jeans. A black shirt will look good when wearing light color pants like light gray. And when it comes to shoe choices, one pair of shoes I highly recommend is Converse shoes. The second type of shoes you can have is a loafers pair, but don't just pick more stylish loafers. Go with a pair that gives a more casual look. My favorite colors are black, gray, and navy blue. You also have to have one pair of white sneakers. This pair has been trendy for a very long time and I believe it still work for the next two years at least. You also have to wear a casual watch when it comes to the right outfit. Don't go with fancy colors watches. I only have four different watches in black, so you also have to keep it simple. Number two, formal gathering. This includes occasions like weddings, formal dinners, and any type of ceremony. If for formal events, you must have a well-fitted suit. It is a must outfit for formal types of gatherings. My personal options are a light gray suit with a black shirt, an all black suit, navy blue suit with a white shirt. And the second thing you have to add to your formal clothing is having some attractive shirts. You must have these varieties of colors in your shirts, white, black, light blue, light gray, light brown, and lavender. When it comes to shoes, Oxfords or Derby shoes are classic choices for formal occasions. My favorite colors are black and brown for formal gatherings. When we are discussing formal dressing, we can't forget to mention using the right belt. I suggest you only wear a leather belt. You can use light and dark brown, black, or light blue. Number three, business gathering. This includes meetings, job interviews, or professional events for business gatherings. I would suggest three different outfits you can try next time. Outfit number one, a suit without a tie, but one thing you have to make sure of is that don't use too bright colors as we see at weddings and formal occasions. Outfit number two, sweater with shirt combo. It's my go-to outfit, especially in winter. You can wear any type of color, but always remember to use contrast in pairs. Outfit number three, basic formal combo. The combination of a formal shirt with a formal pant works pretty well for business gatherings, but don't use too bright colors for this outfit as well. The body is also the most important element. We can categorize the body into two different parts. The upper body, which means our face, and the second one is our lower body, everything below the neck. Let's talk about our upper body first. This includes your face and hair. When it comes to face, how can we make our face more presentable? We can work on our facial appearance, but we hardly change our facial structure. I'm not saying it's impossible to do. Some exercises can affect the facial structure, but it takes years and years to see any changes. The one other option is having surgery, but I never recommended doing any kind of surgery. 
when it comes to facial appearance, we have full control over it. If you want to make your face more attractive, you have to do these things. In a morning, wash your face gently with good face wash, then add a moisturizer to it. You can also use sunscreen after that if you go outside. In the evening, do the same except using sunscreen. I promise you, follow this routine for the next three months and you will see a huge change in your face beauty. Start today and come back after three months to thank me in the comment section. Till then, subscribe to the channel so you remember to thank me. Good hair is also an important part of facial beauty. Understand what haircut suits you best. Here are some trendy haircuts you can choose based on your face structure. Now, let's see how we can work on the lower part of the body, mainly the chest, arms, and leg part. We all know how important it is to have an aesthetic body. Some people also call it a V-shaped body. There is a simple formula for making a V-shaped body. Six days workout in a week plus healthy diet plus drink four liters of water. If you can somehow adopt this formula into your life, I guarantee the way you look will completely change. If you are not willing to go to the gym and do a workout, you can do the same exercises at home. I have made a full video on how to make a V-shaped body at home where I shared every exercise you can do at home to hit every particular muscle. If you are still not willing to put in the work, you are just a lazy man. The third most important element is your hygiene. If your physical look is your first impression, I believe hygiene should be the second most important impression of your personality. So I recommend keeping in mind these things Mouth hygiene. To keep your mouth clean and smellless, you have to brush two times per day. Also, wash your mouth every time you eat something. Hair hygiene. To keep your hair clean and shiny, wash your hair two times per week. Also, use conditioner to give your hair a smooth and shiny look. Body hygiene. This is the most important hygiene you have to focus on. First, take a bath daily, especially if you are living in hotter areas. Use a good perfume. It really adds a huge difference to your personality. Having a good perfume is very important, so it doesn't matter if it is a little bit costly, but always prioritize quality and choosing the right perfume. Outfit hygiene. What is meant by outfit hygiene? It means you have to wear neat and clean clothes. Always iron your clothes before wearing them. Your shoes look clean. Your watch looks clean. Don't wear used underwear and socks. If I have to start my personality development journey, again, the second thing I would focus on is growing my inner self. And there is a reason behind it. When you make your first impression perfect, you then have to move the second impression, which is interacting with other people and how you interact with other people by speaking what's inside you, right? So that's why polishing the inner self is very, very important. There are two types of inner self, your inner body and your mind. To work on your inner body, all you have to do is eat a healthy diet. That's all you have to do but you have to work a lot to grow your mind. Let me ask you a question. What is the food of your brain? I'm taking the four second pause here. Do you get your answer? The food of your brain is the information you put into through any type of medium. It could be watching content, listening to something, seeing something, talking with people, reading books, and much more. When you eat junk food, your body will become junk. Similarly, when you put junk information in your brain, your brain becomes dull, lazy, and problem-oriented. So if you want to change how you think, you have to change the information you put in daily. Start watching good content, start reading good books, start talking to positive people, start constructive work, become solution-oriented. That's how you can control your mind to help you in boosting your personality. Your real personality people see when you interact with them. I call it the third impression of your personality. The first two elements we discussed are helpful for the short term. But if you make a real impact with your personality on the people around you, then you need to work on this third element. There are some things you need to keep in mind when interacting with people. Communication skills. There are tons of tutorials on the internet on communication skills, but most of them are just a BS guide. Then how you can improve your communication skills. What I did back then when I was really poor in my communication, I actively speak with people. Doesn't matter, I'm confident about what I was saying. My only goal was to do lots of practice in talking with people. No doubt people laugh at you, they make fun of you, but it's all right. If you just remember that you have to keep practicing, these things don't matter for a very long time. Be respectful. This is the most important step when interacting with people. It's giving respect. If your communication is weak and your physical personality is also not appealing, people still like you if you behave gently and give respect to other people. Etiquettes. This matters a lot when interacting with society. People subconsciously observe how you behave, how you treat yourself and the people around you, how you eat, how you sit and how you dress. Just learn the basic etiquette and you will see a dramatic change of behavior of people with you. Confidence. 
big part when interacting with people is having confidence. Confidence gives you the ability to speak clearly about what you believe and what you think. These are little things that matter a lot when talking with people. I always remember this, it will take time to master each of the steps. Like for example, you can't learn communication skills in one day or one week. You have to keep practicing and you will see a slight improvement every time you talk with people. Now we have covered all three important elements of building a perfect personality. Let me revise again so you see everything on one page. Appearance, inner self, and interaction with people. In appearance, focus on your fashion sense, your physical body, and your hygiene. In inner self, focus on your diet and the information you absorb throughout the day. In interaction with people, focus on your communication skills, respect for people, etiquette, and confidence. If master these areas, I promise you all, you will get the respect from the society you always dreamt of. People not only give you respect, but they listen to you, talk about you, and give you credibility, and they also trust you. And that's it for today's video. I'm curious to see what you like about this breakdown and which element you think you are weak at and want to focus on that particular part first. I've read that by writing your goals, you can increase your chance of up to 3x to make them true. So write your goals about your personality in the comment section to a yourself.